Jose Limon, 1908-1972. Limon's lineage, he was born in Mexico, the youngest of 12 children. They moved to Los Angeles in 1915. After graduating from Lincoln High School, he starts to college at UCLA as an art major. In 1928, he moves to New York City to attend the New York School of Design. And a year later, after watching a dance performance, he is so inspired, he joins the Humphrey Weidman School of Dance. In 1930, he begins to choreograph his own work, and he starts performing professionally for both Doris Humphrey and Charles Weidman. He's selected as a Bennington Fellow to show work at a dance, a respectable dance festival at Mills College in the Bay Area. He continues to dance on Broadway, and in 1942, he marries. A year later, in 43, he performs his last Broadway performance for Balanchine called Rosalinda. In 1943, he's drafted into the Army and becomes a U.S. citizen, promptly opening the Limon Dance Company. He asks Doris Humphrey to become the artistic director, which makes his company the first modern dance company in America to have a different person as its founder and its artistic director. He's considered the father of release style modern movement. His influence is mainly technique-wise Doris Humphrey. She used breath, fall and recovery technique, he expanded this to include rebound, suspension, and weighted versus weightlessness of the body. He isolates body parts in order to allow them to speak a specific type of dialect. Arms and shoulders are very important to him. He feels that the audience shouldn't be aware of where the dancing stops and the music begins. If the choreography is good enough, it shouldn't seem like a separate ingredient. He chooses subject matters that exploit the human condition and the imperfections of being human drawing inspiration oftentimes from biblical stories or literature. This is a picture of his piece called The Moors Pavain, which was his response to Othello. And this piece, the year it was created, won the Dance Magazine um, Choreography uh, Award for the year. In his later years, in 1958, after Doris Humphrey dies, he takes over as the artistic director of his own company, um, he lost his wife to cancer, and in 1970, he's diagnosed with his own cancer and dies two years later. This is a picture of a piece of his called There is a Time, which is his response to um, Ecclesiastes in the Bible. Uh, we here at Campbell Hall did this several years ago in the spring concert. 